the way to understand anti-Semitism in the Labour Party and why it's a special problem is that it's a kind of peculiar disease of the British aristocratic and intellectual class. Bubbles underneath the surface and it's kind of there. And it's hard to get it every now and again, except when it bursts out in examples like Jeremy Corbyn. A lot of this anti-Semitism we're seeing at the moment with Labour is connected to university-educated intellectual types. So there's that kind of strand of it. In the last hundred years, it was a very common, almost viewed as like a centric affectation of the British aristocratic class. If you go look at the history of the Mitzvah family, for example, and their support for Hitler, and then unity in Diana Mitford's involvement with National Socialism. Diana went on to marry Oswald Mosley, who was originally a Labour Party government minister before going on to found the British Union of Fascists. There's a lot of upper class holding of anti-Semitic views, which connects to their time in education. And then also you've got a strong base of members of the Labour Party who are from these kind of immigrant communities from Arabian countries who view in a tribalistic way that they should support Palestinians, where anti-Semitism is a common belief. Muslim immigrants into the UK generally don't vote conservative. They're quite conservative communities, but they generally vote Labour. So what you get is a kind of melding of these two groups and then you have a very strong anti-Semitic undercurrent that's, that lies in the party and which rears its head every now and again. I view Starmer coming out strong against a ceasefire essentially as him recognising that the mainstream of the British public aren't going to like that. It's too close to being Jeremy Corbyn-like. Corbyn was very much of the kind of intellectual left, university educated, hard left. And although that might appeal to young people who are broadly that type, it didn't appeal to the mainstream of the British populace. And after his first election as leader of the Labour Party, they were celebrating that they didn't lose quite as bad as they thought they might. And the people who are serious in Labour about being government recognise that as a problem. So what I think they're trying to do is they're trying to stay as far as they can away from anything that's Corbyn-esque. So supporting a ceasefire they would recognise is too lefty, is not what the centre of the country wants. It would stink too much of being like Jeremy Corbyn. So I think that's why Starmer's doing that.